Some days everything goes according to plan. Other days we have to adapt and that's okay. Remember to pick up your battles. Prioritize what's most important for your child. My son was born in 2020. He was born perfectly healthy and normal. Everything was perfectly fine with him and we went home. He was developing very normally, meeting all milestones till five months. As soon as my child was six months, he just completed six months, Four days later, I realized that my son, this was around 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m. And I just noticed at the corner of my, that his hands were just going, you know, little flung in the air, you know, and the corner of my hand, I was like, this is unusual. So I just got up and I looked at him closely and I saw that his eyes were like little rolling back. I took a video of it and I took him to the pediatrician then. And uh, the pediatrician advised us to do a EEG did the uh, EEG, they put it down to uh, epilepsy, that was infantile spasms. They started him on medication. He was getting these episodes again and there was no idea why he was getting this again and again. So doctor asked us to do a couple of genetic testing and we had done it here at Medgenome itself. They were born with these conditions, which gave rise to so many terrible things. The way these diseases manifested were only in a set ways. You have seizures. You are not able to do what you're able to do think what you're able to do and slowly the ability that a human being has or a child has diminishes and you're just watching that. There was no other family history of note and then he presented with out of the blue terrible epilepsy. There was even a stage where we thought we should not put him through anything more. At that stage we were able to get a genetic diagnosis. So today when you identify the genetic basis of a disease in a patient you help them in two ways. The first is you precisely diagnose the exact disease because a few years back, majority of these patients had a big diagnostic odyssey. The treatment aspects, how do you manage, how do you prevent in the rest of the family, how you predict these diseases have completely changed and improved with the advent of genomics. We got a diagnosis of a mitochondrial disease. So mitochondrial disease at that young presentation usually is a death sentence. So we told the family this and while we were doing this, then we thought, okay, let us also try ketogenic diet because there is evidence that ketogenic diet helps with mitochondrial disease. So when we started the diet, it was extremely painful for the family to do this because the child was food refusing. The diet took one year for my child to actually see improvement in the EEG. Even with the diet, there were a lot of times that we took an EEG, but his EEG was bad. And I used to literally cry. Now, he is not very way behind children of his age. He is doing pretty well. He's still on the diet, so he's doing very well at therapies. He's picking up things. As of now, it, it feels really, really great and happy to see that he's developing and doing well at school as well. They were very, very dedicated family. They persisted. They're very strong mentally and resilient, and that's the only reason the child is alive today. So now, almost four years down the line, he gradually normalized. It didn't happen suddenly. And then there came a stage where when I saw him in OPD across my desk, I thought, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. The one rare disease patient in a family not only creates morbidity and mortality in the whole family, but also it creates a lot of economic impact. Early detection and prevention of rare genetic diseases in the families across the population, especially those populations where there is a quite a bit of burden of specific disease, helping them by screening identifying carriers who have 50% of defect and doing a counseling and ensuring that we either avoid or we know the disease before it comes and so that better management strategies are there. We might not always be able to cure, but we can always provide healing. So many of these conditions where we have cures now, a few years ago we did not have cures, we make technology accessible. India is one of the cheapest countries where genetics is available. In fact, we are even outsourcing it to the rest of the less developed countries, partnering with them and making it available. And we might very well, just like we became the pharmacy of the world, we might be providers of the world for this. Genetic testing is very important so that we have an answer as to why it is happening to the child. And having a conclusion is very important so that the doctors can actually go in the right direction of the treatment. This is for all the parents with children with genetic disorders. Give yourself grace, celebrate the small victories and know that you're doing an amazing job.